In this video, we're going to show you how to update your Dell PowerEdge servers very quickly and in a great method that will allow you to uh, keep your servers up to date and running better than they are. We're going to go ahead and start off at Dell.com. You're going to go ahead and hit support. And then in support, you're going to either punch in your service tag or you're going to let the system find it, which it'll do right there. Then all the drivers will load up and in there, you're going to either search for DSU or Dell system update. At this point, you've got it right here. I'm going to go ahead and download it. And as you can see, it's down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and we're going to run it. And in here, we will just install. And this will take a few minutes. And it actually says that this is already installed. If it is, that's great. If not, just go ahead and, in this case, update it. And one thing to note while we're waiting here is that this file size is so great. It is a very small um, set download. There are other uh, installers in here called this uh, server update utility, which is, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 gigabytes, which takes a long time and sometimes pretty much out of date. So that's one thing to note that this is much smaller and more usable. Okay, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and run an elevated PowerShell by right-clicking on the Start menu and selecting PowerShell Administrator. And you'll see here how it says Administrator PowerShell. And so we are good to go here. Uh, we're going to go to the root of the hard drive. Then we're gonna go to Windows. Then we're gonna go to System 32. And here we're gonna try running DSU. There you go. So now this is going ahead and actually checking your machine and seeing what's available from Dell for your specific machine automatically. And then it's going to tell us kind of what we have to do after this uh, and what's needed and what's up to date uh, with all the details. We're going to give this a little bit of time and cut right to it once it's complete. That way you don't have to wait for it this whole time. Okay, and this process did take a little bit of time, but finally popped up and it finally shows us a bunch of information. And you'll see here after it detected what's needed, and you'll see here if there's a minus sign, it's saying that it is already at the version that's needed. If there's a star that we selected it, which we didn't, and blank just means not selected. So a lot of these items in this case are up to date, except for, uh, looks like number 16. Okay, and then to go over exactly how you use it, if you see this list and you could just type in an A, once you type in A, it'll actually automatically pick the things you need. And in this case, it puts a star next to 16, which is great. If you make an act, you know, make a mistake or don't want that, you can just press N. It'll then remove, in this case, 16 or anything that you need so that it won't be installed. Then if you wanted to just spot check and install only a couple things at a time, you could just type in 16 in this case and you'll see down below, it goes ahead and puts the star right away. Then after that, when you're ready to go, you're confident that the dashes, they won't install. The asterisk will install. Anything blank will not install at all. You just type in C to commit the changes. Then in this case, it's going to go ahead and start downloading the appropriate um, item that's required for that patch or update. That should be it with that. Don't forget to run this tool multiple times to ensure that you are currently up to date um, because sometimes it could be misleading where you go ahead and install something and then if you don't run it again, it turns out there's other patches that are needed. And the same thing applies for Windows updates. We have some engineers that may be run it once or twice and they forget to run it a third or even fourth time to make sure it says you're completely up to date. And the same thing goes with uh, Dell updates, like on, let's say, uh, Dell desktops and laptops, or even anything like HP or Lenovo machines. So keep that in mind and make sure that you run this tool multiple times. Okay, wanted to show you the installation. It went ahead and downloaded it, installed it, and it said it was all done. We then went ahead and ran DSU again, and it goes ahead and checks the system. And as you can tell here, it says no applicable updates are available. So this is great, everything looks good. 
And as a reminder, please don't do this if you don't feel comfortable working on your own Dell server. You could actually break certain things if you're not familiar with certain parts of the system and ensure that your server can be down uh, during this time because it does take uh, lots of time to do all those different updates if you do need them. Anything from BIOS, wiring a reboot to the bunch of the other firmware updates as well as the uh, drivers. So be aware of that and thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this helps and don't forget to like and subscribe and also turn on the notifications so you can be notified for additional videos like this and that way you can learn some new tips and tricks for your systems and please share this with your colleagues.